you wake up every day with the ability to learn something from somebody. You don't really realize it until you wake up and you actually live through that, that actual course of the day. And yeah, that's something that I've really found out to be really true. Coaches, their job is to understand what makes you tick, and they spend countless hours at their desk, you know, breaking you down just so the offensive lineman who's been doing the same thing can go out there and block you. So it's like playing chess instead of checkers now. So it's really just taking advantage of every opportunity. Retreating to the 40, here's the snap. Cousins back to throw. Doesn't see the pressure. He is set. The ball is out again. It was raked out by Jerry Hughes, and Mamalato came up with it. Two takeaways from Maisie. The, the proof's in the pudding. He brings it every single day. And you don't see most 10-year vets doing that. And that's why Jerry's not losing a step. He's actually getting better. He's all gas, no breaks. He sets the tempo for how we play on defense. Ah! There we go! There we go, baby! You can be a first rounder. You can do all the right things. But you can also have high character in the same boat. That's Jerry Hughes. So how are you, how are you approaching your angle? Let me watch how you how you attacking me. He's all into the things we do, and that's you know being a good teammate, being a good father. Family comes first to Jerry. Family, faith, and football, which makes football fun. And Jerry's a big part of it. Describe the feeling that you get when you make it to the quarterback. Oh, man. <laughs> It's a lot. It's a it's a fun feeling. He is sacked back at the 16 yard line. Pressured and he is going to be dropped. He is dropped. He is sacked. They strip him. They got him. Stripped by Jerry Hughes. Jerry Hughes. Hughes. Buffalo Hughes. You see the quarterback dead in sights. It's it's like a hunter, and you finally have that animal in sights. You're ready to pull the trigger, and it's like everything kind of just goes still. You're not out there just playing football, you're out there hunting, like Jerry said. So we're out there hunting and zeroing our sights in the game, zeroing our sights on the quarterback. Each team we play, you have to know the animal you're hunting. flip the switch, it's non-stop from there. I mean, you get three hours to just honestly hit me. You get three hours where someone's talking trash, okay, buckle up your ride else, and I get to go hit you. It's just like being out there at recess, you get to just set your hair on fire and go have fun. Jerry loves sticking his head in the fan, loves the physicality of the game. And that is something that's rare and far in between. You get a person that's that fast, but at the same time can play just as physical as you're a 300 pounder, like that's a, that's a diamond in the rough. The learning curve was a lot different for me just because I was drafted to the uh, Indianapolis Colts. So at that time they had Dwight Feeney and Robert Mathis there rushing the passer in front of me. So it was a great opportunity for me to kind of just learn from two soon to be Hall of Famers. Uh, once the trade kind of took place and that was probably my first opportunity where people were actually in my corner wanted me to go out there and just play football like I knew I could. Here comes pressure, Tannehill looks, pressure, ball comes out, loose ball rolling around at the 40 yard line and let's see Buffalo ball, the Bills come up with it, Jerry Hughes comes up with the football. I think from Indy to Buffalo it was the best transition that we could have had. We grew a family here. We got engaged here, married. I mean, I, I'll say from 17-year-old Jerry, he has grown into a great man. I've always envisioned myself playing in the NFL, so it's kind of like living a dream. And then I tack on a beautiful family with a beautiful wife. I never really thought I could get that lucky to you know, find someone so beautiful that would actually settle down with me. Waking up every day, you know, taking a deep breath, and it's like, wow, living a dream. Let's go have fun and let's do it again. I don't like that one. I want to swipe so badly, but I can't because you're so low. So I'm literally swiping he's like. He's getting ready to pounce. He's yeah. getting ready to sit. So he's like this. Right. Honestly, he's like this. <laughs> OK. McCown sets up the throw, pressured and set. Much like LaShawn McCoy hits the running seam, Jerry Hughes sees it, and he has an opportunity to bring McCown down. I'll go out there and have a series, and I'll make a play. He'll say, Eddie, what'd you do? What'd you see? Hey, Eddie, on the first play, was his hand on the ground? 
and it's from him watching me on the sideline. And he'll come over asking and ready for that information. And I, I didn't know where to align on that end. I think I was too tight. He's going on his 10 years, so like, again, it's kind of intimidating, but at the same time, Jerry's so hungry to get better, and that's every single day. Watson back to throw. Here comes pressure. Now the ball comes out. They strip him. Stripped by Jerry Hughes. They got him just when they needed him. They got him. Hughes got to count the center. Five hundred oh, center. Right. Yeah. But usually when you get somebody that's all world and, you know, first round, oh, I'm the man, Usually you get, uh, sometimes you get a lack in character, but with Jerry, you get that first round pedigree, but also outstanding character and work ethic, like he's from the mud, like I am. I remember last year, we get on a trip to LA, and in the air, his, his wife is gonna have a second child. As soon as we touch down, jump off the plane, hop on another, fly home, see the birth of his baby, and to come back. He's a dad first and a football player second. He gets up at five and he's back here probably around 5.36. But he will be here to eat with us and to do baths. Um, I think people only see glimpses of him. You know, they, they see the fiery side most of the time. He's very giving, serving. He has shown great growth in that. And that's one of the probably the proudest things I've seen. It's changed me tremendously. My son and my daughter bring a lot of joy into my life. It's just the smiles that you get embraced with when you hear the hugs. So, I mean, it's, it's certainly a different feeling because there's, there's no flipping a switch on. It's just coming home and being loved, just, just, being, just being a part of the fabric of the family, you know, just living in that whole now moment, which is really a lot of fun.